Hey guys. Hi, right, Jonas. How are you doing? Really good. Really good. First scrimmage. Yeah. Uh, big day today. How would you evaluate? How would you grade today for you in the office? Uh, did some good things. We we did some bad things. Um, just like everyday practice. But the main thing that stood out to me um, is we can be super explosive. Uh, we had some 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 big plays. Uh, uh, run game wise and pass game wise, uh, but I think that we we've got to get a little bit more in shape. Um, so when we when we're trying to go fast, when we're trying to pace. Guys got to pop off the ground. Um, we've got to get lined up and ready to snap the ball. Um, in some case scenarios today, I think we're a little slow, um, but I think that's something that we can we can uh, correct and film for sure. We were just talking to Coach Malzahn a little bit ago. You mentioned snapping the ball, the speed of that. What do you make of the battle at center? It sounds like three guys are rotating yep. in and out. That. How does that impact you as a quarterback? Uh, I mean, not a ton. It doesn't impact me a ton. Different snaps, like um, Kittler and Bula like to spin the ball back there. Drake likes to dead snap it back there. As long as it's close, it's good for, for me. Um, the, I think all three of those guys have been uh, having a really good camp so far. Um, they've, they've all three done really good things and at times things that they need to work on. Um, but center quarterback exchange is extremely important. Um, it, it happens every single play. And so that's one of the things that we have to be 100% on. And so uh, it's something that we are continuing to work on through game. I know Kittler was here, but all these young guys and these new faces and whatnot, how does, is it challenging to develop a relationship when you're the starting quarterback, you don't know who the center's going to be? Uh, I mean, no, no, not really. I mean, all three of those guys, I think, could very easily be the starting center. Um, and I, I think all three of those guys are going to play in some capacity. I mean, they're, they're all three that good. Um, but uh, I think with them having to compete, uh, I think that only gets you better. I think competition only brings the best out of people. Um, and so it's been really fun to watch all three of them go, get after it every day. They bring their A game every day, um, and they're continuing to get better. And, and, and as, as an offense, and, and me personally and those guys I know, we're just trying to stack days. How can we get better from the day before? And so um, it's been fun watching those three guys uh, bring their A game every day. Obviously, you're the old guy in the room for the <laughs> quarterbacks. <laughs> Got gray in my hair. <laughs> um, what's it like seeing the younger guys get their opportunity in the scrimmage today? Uh, really fun. Really fun. Um, I didn't get to go live today, but those guys did. Um, it it adds another dynamic to the offense, right? A lot of times in, in team and practice, the quarterbacks aren't live, and so. Um, Guys know on zone reads and stuff, just take the running back every time because the, the quarterback, if somebody just touches you, you're down. And so um, for them, and sometimes today, third and long, Dylan, I know, uh, converted the third and, third and long with his legs today. Um, and it was really fun to watch those guys compete. You'd ask for not, not shying away from contact. Timmy, obviously an unbelievable athlete. Xavier, as fast as the wind, you know. And so um, it's really fun to watch those guys, especially when they're live, to, to add uh, that, that another dynamic to the offense that they bring. We know what to expect from Javon and Kobe, but how would you describe the battle for the rest of the wide receiver positions? I mean, we we got some, as Coach Malzahn would say, real dudes. We got some we got some real dudes all over the uh, field at wide receiver. Um, I mean, Javon's been having an unbelievable camp. Uh, I mean, he's really flipped the switch and like he's 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 real deal as it gets. Kobe as well is, is unbelievable, and y'all have seen Kobe. Um, but I, I have been really, really proud of Xavier um, and, and how his camp has been going. He's, he's flipped the switch as well. and He's been uh, really fun to watch work and really fun to throw to. I mean, I feel like he's always open. And so, um, and again, I can start listing the guys' names that have just been unbelievable. JG, um, Corey, he's just got to get shaped a little bit. Um, Bake, Jared Baker, I mean, he, he, these guys are unbelievable. Trent Whittemore, really strong. I mean, they all bring a little bit something different to the table, but we are extremely, extremely deep uh, at the wide receiver position. You mentioned today you had some explosive plays. What are some of the, the plays? Can you describe maybe some of the highlights, some of the individual efforts? Like, what, what are some yeah. of the things that you remember from today? Uh, so one time we had, you know, two by one set tied in, in the core. The defense decided to bring pressure. You know, they're trying to load the box and get to me. Um, but uh, Kobe got open really quick, got Kobe the ball, made one guy miss, and he made an extremely explosive play down the sideline, I think, for, if I had to guess, probably 65 yards, maybe 70 yards. Uh, stumbled. Uh, went down, um, and that, that was one of them. Uh, Johnny, uh, one time you, you think there's nothing there, and then all of a sudden Johnny makes something happen. He bounces off a guy, whoop, 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 on the outside corner. And once Johnny gets the edge, he's electric to watch, and, and he had a big one there as well. Um, had a big third down conversion with uh, Javon, one-on-one, went up and got it, uh, made it look easy. 
Um, and so, I mean, we have nuggets of just how explosive we can be. And, you know, uh, first scrimmage, it's good to see the nuggets. But that's the standard. That's who we want to be. We want to be super explosive. We want to execute at a high level. And so when, when there's nuggets, you know you can do it. And so you just want to continue to do that uh, and make that the standard. Make that every time you snap the ball, hey, here's something that, that could be an explosive play here. Obviously, you weren't live today, but if you were, could you imagine going up against those UCF defensive line and some of those dudes up there? Yeah, I mean, those guys are unbelievable. Um, again, we got some, some real dudes uh, over there. Uh, a guy that's really stood out to me this camp is Lee Hunter. Um, I know Coach Malzahn, I heard him speak on him earlier, but um, he's in shape, and I mean, he's He's a wrecker uh, in the interior, and obviously y'all y'all know about drop. He's he's every day uh, consistently really really good. Um, but I'm really really proud of Lee Hunter and and the the uh, kind of days that he's been stacking in camp. You have like four running backs that have all had some in game experience at least. Yeah. Um, what's that like as a quarterback knowing you have some experience there? I mean, it's. Again, you know you have an explosive run coming. It, it's just a matter of time. And then the offensive line that we have makes it even better, right? And so um, you give those guys a seam, those guys are going to make something big out of it. Um, and on RPOs and stuff, it makes it easy on you because if there's gray area, you can give the ball and you know that, hey, even if there's just a seam, even if it's just a little bit of daylight, we got at least seven right here. Hey, it might be boom, boom, boom. We got 35 on a play that when we had an RPO, it just had a little bit of gray area to it. And so uh, when you got some guys, uh, not some, we got four or five guys that are explosive like that in the running back room, just again, makes my job a lot easier. After this first week of camp, how would you describe your comfort in Darren Mitchell's offense? Um, I, I would say that I'm extremely comfortable in it. Um, he is unbelievable play caller, unbelievable uh, quarterback developer. Um, and, and I've learned a ton from him in the first five days through the spring and the summer. Um, I can't, I can't uh, describe uh, the amount of uh, coaching that I've gotten and, and how much uh, better that I think that I have gotten. Um, and I hope to put it on display, but uh, Coach Hinshaw has been great. Uh, along with Coach Malisov, he's still in there. He's still coaching us up. And obviously you know about the, the offensive mind that he is. And, um, but yeah, we, we're, we're, taking, we're taking steps every day. We're stacking days. And, um, it's been really, really fun to, to learn from them. What's an example of something, though, that you can take from Henshaw that you're trying to put into practice? Yeah, so, I mean, Henshaw, he's really big on understanding what's going on in every play, right? We want to we wanna understand what our job is, Cole, so we know uh, we can be focused on what we're getting as a, as a quarterback, right? Uh, and that's just one of the pieces that he brings to the table. But for me, uh, he's really, really big on the technicalities of playing quarterback. Hey, where are your feet supposed to be? Where's your shoulders supposed to be? How are we going to navigate the pocket when it starts getting closed down on you? And it's been really, really helpful for me. And he goes back from last year's film and says, hey, you could have done this better right here, and then we would have had something better. And when you look at it, it's like, man, I, that's really awesome to hear, right? You, you just know that, that now that, hey, if I sit here, if I navigate this way, if I can get my back foot in the ground, then we can, we can strike this ball in there and do something really good. So again, I'm learning a ton from them, and it's been a lot of fun. John Rice, do you, do you watch other quarterbacks in terms of contemporaries in college football? I know you're at the Manning camp where you got to meet a lot of guys. Do you ever like go on YouTube or watch videos to kind of maybe see what other guys are doing? Are there guys who impress you or? kind of guys that you think might be similar to your game or uh, uh, you, I mean you yeah so I mean I, I'm big on on see somebody do it and then I want to see a video of me right I want to see the difference in between the two that's kind of how I've always been with everything whether it's a baseball swing whether it's throwing a baseball whether it's throwing a football um, I'm really big on seeing somebody do it that's really good at it and then putting myself side by side what's the difference right what can I do better how can I look like this guy that's really good um, Nobody necessarily in college that I just like, hey man, he's, he's awesome and, and kind of want to model my game after him. But um, I mean, I've, I've always kind of looked up to the big arms, you know, in, in professional football. You know, the Patrick Mahomes, the Aaron Rodgers, the, those guys have freaky arms, right? Josh Allen, what do they do that, that makes them uh, have that much whip on the ball? And so, um, again, I, I just love to, to see them do it and then put myself side by side. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty visual when it comes to that and then uh, being able to correct myself like that. Um, and that's kind of how I've always been. That's kind of had to learn since I've been a little kid, you know, and so uh, it's kind of something that I've, I've continued to do. John Rice, I know this is your last year at UCF, but uh, next year in the Big 12, Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, along with Colorado are joining. Oregon and Washington are going to the Big 10. From your perspective as a student athlete, 
you know, you've been in college for a while now. What do you make of the way college is changing so much in athletics and conference realignment and whatnot? Yeah, uh, I haven't got to pay a ton of attention to it, right? Just because, I mean, we're in camp, and as you know, like we're head down all the time. It's like we see the sun, and then we don't see the sun, and then you go to sleep, and you see the sun again, right? So, I mean, uh, you get super focused on, on one thing, but. Um, it's kind of like, what do you what do you think of it? It's, it's and it's like, well, what 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 is there to think? What what am I going to do to, to say one way or another? But um, probably don't have a, an opinion on it just yet. Just kind of want to see how it kind of all plays out. But it's pretty cool, you know. I think I'm really glad that we're in the conference that we're in. We're in a, uh, I mean, we're in an unbelievable conference, and we're going to have a lot of teams and a lot of really really good teams. And so um, I think that's really all I got to say about it. Not don't have an opinion yet. Just kind of want to see how it all plays out. Tight ends are usually seen as the security blanket for a quarterback. Yeah. Alec called you one of his best buddies when he yeah. was up there the other day. What's it like having a close relationship like that? Yeah, he's one of my best friends. Um, he hosted my visit when I came here. Um, I was in his wedding. Like that's that's one of my best buddies. Uh, but he is unbelievable uh, at playing the position of tight end. Unbelievable human being, 100%. I can tell you that. And I can attest to that. But this year, playing the tight end position. Uh, he's going to be one of the best tight ends in college football, and I, I believe it uh, to my core. Uh, watching the camp that he's had, how physical he is, how he can go run routes and go get the ball, like, it's it's unbelievable. Like, it's, it's we were talking about it the other day, and they came out with watch lists and stuff, and um, I don't think Alec was on it, and um, you can tell he's kind of a little bit bummed out about it, and I said, man, don't be worried about it. I, th I said, after the day that he had, he had a really good day, I said, not only uh, can you be the best tight end in college football, but you should be the best tight end in college football because I think he's that good. I believe that much in him uh, about his work ethic, about his athletic ability, um, what kind of person he is as well. But um, I believe that much in, in number 82. Like, I think he's going to be one of the best, if not the best in college football. During media day, Coach Henshaw told me that he had spoken to you about the amount of times that you got hit yeah. on a play last season. Yeah. How have you changed your approach to avoid those contacts as much as you can? Yeah, um, again, something that I'm learning every day, right? Uh, like, I've got to protect myself and protect the ball, right? And I think in doing that, I protect the team. And so, um, we went back and watched film last year of, hey, man, why did you take this hit? There was no reason why you should have, hey, this was a, you, you probably had to take this hit. You had to go get this one right here. Um, and there's little things that I could have done a lot better, not trying to run into people and be dumb, you know, trying to protect yourself. Um, but. I haven't got to put it into practice a ton because I'm not live, but it's something that's on the forefront of my mind. Protect myself and protect the ball. And in doing that, I protect the team. And so um, it's something that I'm learning. I'm continuing to learn and, and uh, it's, for me, I kind of get in a competitive mindset, like kind of grit your teeth and let's go, let's rock and roll. And so um, when I become live again, when I start getting tackled again, it's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to keep on the forefront of my mind because I know as a competitor, um, it kind of all glazes over sometimes, and I, and I try to, to, to go get after somebody. But, um, again, something that I'm learning, and again, it's on the forefront of my mind. Who's a young guy or maybe young guys that have impressed you over the last week, guys that you're excited to see what they were able to do on the field this year? Tyree uh, is a freshman wide receiver, uh, is really talented. Um, he's still learning stuff. He's not doing a, uh, some little things right with, as far as depth of routes, as far as um, uh, getting to where we want him to be. But uh, he's extremely athletic. He competes for the ball extremely well. Um, and as soon as he cleans it up and kind of understands what we're trying to, to get done as far as the technicalities of the offense, where we need him to be, how deep we need him to go, how many steps we need him to take, uh, he's going to be really good. I'm super proud of him and how hard he's working. Um, and I know he's going to get those little things cleaned up and he's going to be a heck of a player. Throughout camp, the different media availabilities, the players have been saying, we can contend for a conference championship. But that's really difficult for a team moving up at yeah. a level like this. Why do you think it can be different for UCF in its first year in the Big 12? I mean, I think we're that's that's our standard. That's UCF's standard. We're, we're a championship football team, and we want to continue to be a championship football team. We've been a championship football team uh, for many years before this, and that's what got us to where we are right now. And we're just trying to uphold the standard of UCF being a championship football team. And I think if you look at what we have from the top down, from the coaches to the players to, to the fans, I mean, we're, we got, we're checking all the boxes to, to be a Power 5 school and, and to be uh, uh, a powerhouse in, a, in, in the Power 5. And, um, as far as coaches, we have the best in the country. And player-wise, 
I don't know who else we would want on this team, personnel-wise. We have skill all over the field and talent all over the field, um, and we're excited to put it on this way. Is there personal pride for you in being the leader on a team that's making that move into the Big 12 in its first year and having that success with yeah. your quarterback? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm a competitor. I want to win. I mean, that's 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 what I want to do. And, and whatever it looks like for it to get done, I'm, I'm trying to lead these guys into into taking this step. Um, but. Uh, yeah, there's there's pride in it. I, I want I want to be a winner, and that's that's who I am. That's who I've always been. I'm a winner, and, and we're gonna go try to win at the game. Okay, so that's it. Cool. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Guys. Guys. God bless.